Growing up in Massachusetts, we would often go into the town of Natick, where there is a Wonder Bread factory, and the wonderful smell of that Wonder Bread being made permeated the whole area. And it is a very wonderful smell with a happy memory. And more locally, many have fond memories of the J.J. Nissen Bread Factory as well. We have five senses, seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, and smelling. And they were all featured in some way in our readings today. Of the five senses, smell is the one that is often overlooked in terms of its importance. We can even treat smell with a certain silliness. Yet, our sense of smell can be very powerful. Of all the senses, smell has a way of not only allowing us to remember certain people or events, but it can seemingly transport us to that time or place or seem like a person is right there with us. Our sense of smell can do this in a way that the other senses cannot. During the Eucharistic prayer at every Mass, the priest says, do this in memory of me. And when this happens, we are not simply recalling something from the past, but we are living it and experiencing the passion of Jesus in a profound way. It is a living memory. Jesus does not stop being our Savior. He fulfills this role at every Mass. The Passover of Christ is made present to us in the celebration of the Eucharist. When I go to the tabernacle bringing out the ciborium that holds the consecrated hosts and then open up the cover, the fragrance of the Eucharist inside is my favorite smell. It is the fragrant aroma St. Paul speaks of in the second reading when he says, as Christ loved us, handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God. That quote referenced by St. Paul is a call for us to be imitators of God. The kindness, compassion, and forgiveness St. Paul speaks of will be a refreshing scent that will naturally emanate from us when we readily accept this gift of the Eucharist. On the other hand, if we take in bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, reviling, and malice, the negative things Paul speaks of, we will give off a rancid spiritual stench that will naturally turn people away. As great as that wonder bread is, imagine how much sweeter the Eucharist, the bread of life, is for us. Receiving this spiritual nourishment has the opportunity to truly transform us in every way. Using our senses of sight, hearing, taste, touch, and even smell, we can experience the living memory of what Christ did for us and what Christ does for us. Each and every day, may we taste and see, but also hear and touch and smell the goodness of the Lord.